This video is really in response to a question I received about the Benchmade 580 Barrage. Um, basically, how sharp is it relative to my other knives um, out of the box? So, I'm, I am expanding on this question a little bit, and I wanted to compare it to other assisted opening knives, and then just do a simple paper cut test. The paper cut test doesn't really say a whole lot. It just, it's one variable in, in an overall evaluation, basically. But, <clears throat> basically, um, I'll show you the Benchmade 580. I have the serrated version. I've never sharpened this. It hasn't been used that much. I have the uh, Kershaw Blur Tanto version. Used a little bit, never sharpened. And I want to compare it against the uh, SOG Aegis, Aegis. And then finally, you know, our current favorite, the paramilitary. Not assisted opening, but you know, I wanted to compare it. Um, let's let's start with the uh, blur. Again, this is a competing class knife, um, both assisted opening here. It's a Tanto version, so it's not going to cut as well. And you can see the blade grind is not not a full grind, but it starts about mid mid here. It slopes down. Okay. And let's try this out. The serrations make this a little difficult. Okay. We have a little bit of a burp here in the blade. Let's try it a little bit more careful. Okay. So, a little bit of difficulties in that, but um, I think this blade is actually sharper than what I'm depicting here. Serrations suck on this one. Okay, so I would say that the knife, this one's a little underrepresented in its sharpness, but all the Kershaws I have are really sharp out of the box. I mean, I wouldn't want to play with it too much. I can just feel it's uh, ready to roll. Okay, now the SOG Aegis, again, assisted opening. This one is fully flat ground blade. Okay, very small slope. This one's very sharp, and it's going to be a good slicer as well because it's perfectly smooth. Okay. This one's probably around the 60 70 range. Uh, the Kershaw, this one's around $55 or so. Um, now let's look at the 580 Barrage, the knife in question. It's the 154CM steel. I do have the serrations. Um, this one has the, not a full flat ground, but you can see the slope of the grind starts about three-fourths to the top of the blade. Okay, so this one's not going to be as good of a slicer as the Aegis, for example. Okay, you probably can't see that, but that's kind of how it looks. So this one functions pretty sharp, and I have to say the serrations are helping because it gets the paper started. So if I use the serrations, it really works. We use this up here, it's harder to get started. So I'd say this one's pretty sharp. It doesn't physically feel that sharp when I do this, you know. Um, so that's one thing. Okay, and finally, the uh, paramilitary here. I'm only showing this because it's a similar size and this, the spider coves are probably my benchmark for sharpness. Okay, it's again a full flat ground. 
S30V blade. Okay. This is touched up a little bit by, by me, but this is a sharp one. This knife, the reason I showed it, again, similar size, but it's also the benchmark. Okay, I'll do a quick one more slice of a little bit thinner paper, one, one quick one chance uh, slice here. Okay, that's that. Let's try the barrage. Same attempt. Okay, I'll, I'll do two out of three on this one. Okay. It's doing it, but I'll have to say that I still feel my paramilitary is a little bit more sharp. Okay. I don't know if that just uh, confused you, helped you, or whatnot, but uh, that's that. Price wise, paramilitary is the most expensive. It also has the nicest steel. Then it's the barrage, second nicest steel. Barrage is probably in the $80 range now, 80 to 100 off the internet, 154 cm. Then next is the uh, maybe 60 to 70, I haven't looked lately, uh, AUS 8 Steel Aegis. And then finally the uh, Kershaw uh, knife, it's Sandvik Steel or something, you can get this one from Walmart. As far as my view of what's the most sharp, I would have to say the uh, paramilitary, then the Aegis, then the Barrage, and then the the, um, the Kershaw. The Kershaw didn't perform very well today. It's typically more sharp. So that's that.